Pro Tips in GTA Online 2022 GTA Online is one of the best things about GTA 5. There are plenty of things to do. This game is pure joy to behold. And if you are new to the world of GTA, you are definitely in for a treat. In this video, we share with you some mind-blowing tips which will ensure you that you can quickly build your criminal empire. Stay tuned. Don't hesitate to ask for help. If you are new to GTA Online and are stuck, the best way to get the most out of your efforts is to have friends who already play the game. Make friends, preferably higher level ones, so that you can employ the hardware they have at their disposal to earn money. Also, if you want to take someone out, placing a bounty on them is a great way to incentivize your will. On the other hand, do not interfere with people. Do not interfere with people higher than your level. This one is a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised the sheer number of people who don't check other people's level before getting involved. Don't splurge. There are several opportunities to earn money in GTA Online and the money you earn is going to make you want to splurge. However, what you want to be actually doing is to save your money and invest in something worthwhile like a warehouse. When choosing weapons, always look for the price per kill ratio, the amount of money you spend on bullets to gain your kill because people end up spending thousands of dollars for a homing missile to get a few kills. Keep highs active. This next tip is very important. Always keep a highs ongoing. Progress will ensure that you will get invited by Lester to continue the heist whenever you are present online during a session. If you accept the phone call invitations, you will be directly taken to the locations, saving time and protecting you from people who might try to ice you. Bonus tip, if you have Doomsday on going along with the regular heist, you can quickly travel between the facility and your apartment, sell cars. Whenever you feel in need for extra dough, visit your nearest Los Santos Customs. The cars you steal can fetch a premium price if you enhance it using a mod shop. Remember that you can sell one car a day and one day in-game lasts around 45 minutes. Do remember to lock the car you own so that you don't end up losing your right. Use a bank. Instead of carrying around all your cash, deposit it in a bank. In case you get robbed, you won't lose all of your in-hand money. The game gives you the convenience to deposit funds using your phone, so you can easily skip the ATM. You might think that $5,000 isn't a huge amount when it comes to GTA, but every bit adds up. So save your money and it will pay off dividends in the long run. Give passive mode a try. If you aren't ready to venture out in the incredibly world of Grand Theft Auto Online, the game has you covered. You can start a solo session from the pause menu and try out your hand on the various in-game activities. It is also a safe way to level up without any interruptions. Whether it's practicing your driving skills, participating in races, or learning to fly a helicopter, this is the safest way to go. If you keep getting killed by other players, you should definitely give passive mode a try. It will prevent you from getting shot when you are on foot. The downside of this is that you cannot shoot other players, which is fair. Though this does not mean that you are untouchable, people can still run you over or shoot you when you are in a vehicle. Get revenge on your killers. Given the high-speed nature of the game, you might catch yourself off-guard innocently moving about in the game. Though within a span of the first 10 minutes, you'd realize that it's incredibly easy to get shot, run over, or rob if you aren't being cautious. Don't worry though, being a thoughtful developer as they are, Rockstar Games was kind enough to include an info section in the game menu which can be used to track down your killers. This is a great way to get some payback. What's more, there's a system implemented by the developers that awards good sports with a bonus $1,000 in-game, while bad sport is awarded with a dunce cap for 48 hours. How cool is that? Make sure you use these tips to get a head start if you haven't played GTA Online before. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.